Savita and I'm back with another quick and delicious holiday dinner idea. This time I have for you my step-by-step -step recipe for corn pudding or corn casserole. This recipe is the perfect side dish for any occasion, especially during the holiday season. For this recipe, we're going to need coconut oil and I'm using organic coconut oil. You can use canola or vegetable oil if you like, unsalted butter, baking powder, eggs, all-purpose flour, cornmeal, granulated sugar, salt, ground nutmeg, coconut and vanilla extract, sour cream, and we're also going to need some corn and I'll be using two types of corn starting with the cream of corn that you can find canned and we're also going to need some sweet corn. This time I'm using the frozen sweet corn. I've thawed and rinsed it well. And if you use the canned corn, rinse it thoroughly. Start by melting the butter and set it aside to cool. And we whisk them lightly just to combine them until you don't see the yellow or the white anymore. That looks good. Add your vanilla extract. Coconut extract, and the coconut extract that I use is a concentrated extract, and it's a little thick, so I'm gonna employ the help of my spatula for this. In the description box below, I'll also leave you the information of my supplier for the extract. And we also wanna add our coconut oil. I'm using extra virgin organic coconut oil. You can use canola oil if you want. I just absolutely love the flavor of the coconut oil. And to be honest with you, I use any excuse to use coconut in my recipes. I love coconut. Add the sugar and whisk it to dissolve the sugar. You can do this in a mixture if you like, but it's really not necessary. Once you have your sugar incorporated and dissolved, we can add the cream of corn. Now we can add the sour cream. So far it's pretty simple. Already smells delicious. Okay, once we get the sour cream incorporated, we can add the sweet corn. And set this aside and mix the dry ingredients. Starting with the flour, corn flour. There's no need to sift the flour and the corn flour. As you can see, you can do that all in one bowl. The baking powder. Salt. And nutmeg. Okay, looks good. Alrighty. Let's bring this back. And mix the dry ingredients and with the whisk we want to mix it but we want to fold it you don't want to over mix your flour from the bottom up just like that all right once we have the flour and cornmeal incorporated we can add the melted butter And remember, when you melt the butter, you want to make sure your butter is cooled. If you add hot butter to this mixture, you're going to begin cooking the eggs and that's going to ruin your corn pudding. And this is what the uh, consistency of the corn pudding looks like. It's fairly runny and that's perfectly normal because once we place it in the oven, it's all going to come together perfectly. 
This is the basic recipe. You can take this mixture and turn it into whatever you like. You can add bacon, jalapenos, cheddar cheese, peppers, onions, cilantro. The truth is, is the sky is the limit. I'm actually gonna make this recipe twice today and at the end of this video, I'm gonna share images of what it looks like uh, using some of those ingredients that I mentioned. And I have here a couple of options for molds that you can use starting with these individual mini cast iron pots and these little mini skillets which are perfect especially if you're having an intimate dinner with family and friends and you want to serve your casserole or your corn pudding individually it looks very elegant and neat but for today i'm going to be using this mold and the mold is 9 by 12 inches which is the perfect size for this amount of corn pudding and we're gonna start by greasing the pan. You only need a light coating of the oil. I'm using the coconut oil, but you can use cooking spray, melted butter, really is up to you. I like the flavor that the coconut oil adds. Because I like my corn pudding soft in the inside and crunchy on the top, I'm gonna to sprinkle a little bit of raw cane sugar over the top, and this is organic raw cane sugar and as the corn pudding bakes all this sugar is going to caramelize a little bit like creme brulee this corn pudding is a perfect side dish for your meal and it also doubles as a dessert it's absolutely delicious at this time i'd like to remind you that if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up leave your comments down below those comments and those thumbs up are a real blessing and they help the channel grow so i do appreciate it if you leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up so we can continue sharing these wonderful recipes with you activate that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload videos and share this video with your friends and family so they too can be a part of this great Evita family. I'm placing the corn pudding at a preheated oven at 350 degrees between 45 minutes to 55 minutes depending on the mold and your oven and I assure you that the smells of the corn pudding is definitely going to let you know when it's ready. When the corn pudding comes out of the oven, you want to allow it to settle and sit for a little bit. Remember all that butter that was bubbling and sizzling over the top of the corn pudding? Uh, as it starts to cool down, the butter gets soaked right back into the corn pudding, making it a delicious corn pudding. I'm going to allow it to rest for a few more minutes, and when I come back, we're going to cut it, and most importantly, we're going to try it. Friends, my favorite part is here and it's time to taste this delicious corn pudding. Look at how beautiful it turned out. Let's cut us a slice and try it. Soft in the inside and crunchy on the top. Beautiful. Let's try it. Friends, it's finally time for my favorite part. It's time to taste this delicious corn pudding. I really can't wait. It smells amazing. Check it out. Mmm. I use milk. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. It is crunchy on the top and soft and moist in the inside, just the way I like it. Not too sweet. You can custom make this recipe any way you like, adding some of your favorite flavors. Here I have one that I prepare using jalapenos, cheddar cheese, and bacon. Let's try it. Mm. I use milk. This is so good. Wow. Can't stop eating it. Amazing. My goodness. 
You really have to try it. Friends, if you like this recipe, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave the comments down below. I really appreciate it. And activate the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my video recipes. Simple and delicious like this one. And until next time, I'm Evita, cooking at the rhythm of my heart. Buen provecho y hasta la próxima. Mm. You really have to try it. Wow.